Now, let's talk about the, the figures coming out of the US border crisis, uh, millions coming in illegally, as we have discussed in the past through that southern border. The humanitarian parole program is also adding hundreds of thousands coming in from countries like Haiti. But that's not enough because there's also what are called the getaways. These are the record numbers who come through undetected. The estimates uh, are around 1.8 million have come through since 2021. And let's look at how they do it. As Fox News's Bill Meldun uh, notes, they all step into the same footprints as they walk and then they use branches to clear the tracks behind them to make it harder for Border Patrol to track them. Uh, this footage is, is uh, well, it's worrying, Army. They're, they're mainly male, military age. Do we know much more about them? Yeah, look, no, we, we, that, by definition, we don't know a lot about them because they are getting in illegally. They're illegal aliens. Yeah, I use that term, more on that later. Um, and so we don't know, yeah. but I'll tell you what we, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you this, is that uh, we are bombarded in our media with examples of criminal, of criminal behavior by these illegal aliens. Uh, we've seen violence, illegal behavior, you know, and now what we're seeing, this new kind of trend we're seeing is the idea of squatting. Now, I don't know if people in Australia understand what this concept means, but in the blue states here, what, what they've done is they've legalized people essentially stealing homes. I know that sounds crazy, but essentially if you break into a home and you are there for more than a certain amount of days, you would now have legal rights to that home, despite the fact you have zero connection to it, and it becomes very difficult for the real owners to kick you out. So these illegal aliens have now are now gaming the system, and we're now bombarded with new images of these illegals now squatting in homes and taking over homes. Look, I know Biden wants to do nothing for the border because he thinks that's some kind of electoral win from him, but just from the sense of self-preservation, this thing is so out of control, you would think he'd want to do something just for his own electoral prospects. Never mind that he doesn't care that we have open borders, right? That's his realist philosophy. But just from a self-preservation concept, he would think he would do something. He's doing, he's so bad at this, Rita. He's so bad at this. This is why Trump is beating him consistently in the polls for things like this. Well, he's got other problems as well. The anti-Israel protests are intensifying around the country. You've got bridges being blocked from San Francisco to New York, Intifada being called for. There is violence. There's, there's mass disruption, anti-Semitic chants. Uh, they're even burning American flags army, something that is becoming very, well, not commonplace. It's not quite commonplace, but they're very casual about it these days. Not long ago, that would have caused widespread outrage. Uh, is this impacting Joe Biden's decision making? Is he feeling these domestic pressures and that's influencing his foreign policy? Mm, let me think about that one. Duh! Yeah, of course it is. <laughs> uh, uh, by the way, a massive miscalculation is part. Look, my daughter just texted me literally five minutes ago. Uh, she goes to Binghamton University, which has actually been a pretty pro-Israel school, a school that I felt comfortable sending her to because it has a large Jewish population. She just told me they just voted for BDS to be enacted at Binghamton University. It is shocking that it has reached even to that level, a very relatively pro-Israel school with a large Jewish population. No, um, the president is making a very crass political decision, which is I'm going to turn on Israel because I think that that will get me the margin of votes I need in Michigan, in Minnesota, in Georgia. He is absolutely incorrect. Those people are already not voting for him. Turning on Israel will make absolutely no difference. But let me tell you something. His turning on Israel is exactly what led to Iran to bomb Israel. Make no mistake about it. If his, if his precipitous and foolhardy Afghanistan withdrawal beget the Ukrainian invasion, which it did, his turning on Israel and Gaza beget the Iran invasion. You are crazy if you don't think so. And by the way, Iran didn't calculate wrong. He's already calling for de-escalation. What? What is he talking about? Israel was just 
hit with 300 missiles and drones. The only reason why they didn't get in is because of this technological miracle that Israel had with its, with its uh, air defense. But Israel has to treat this attack. I'm, I'm, I don't know if a lot of people are calling for this. You have to treat this, your doctrine has to be, you have to treat it as if every missile hit its target. That's the way you have to respond. Because if you don't, all you're doing is telling your enemies, I can attack you with no repercussions. That's what you're doing. And if it gets through finally, I will decimate you. Yet this president is already preempting and pushing and pressuring Israel not to respond in the massive way that it needs to. It, it is uh, absurd to suggest that Israel's had a win because Iran did limited damage with this uh, attack. And that seems to be the, the narrative that's being pushed widely, that Israel doesn't actually need to have a counterattack because they've already won. The, 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 the Iran was uh, ineffective in its attack. Now, you mentioned... Uh, the word illegal alien uh, earlier and, and how contentious it has become. And a North Carolina high school student, poor kid here, Christian McGee, was suspended from his school for saying illegal alien in the classroom. From what I can work out, he, he said the term in the correct context, in an accurate context, it's a legitimate phrase to describe something, but apparently his use of the, the term illegal alien army is offensive to Hispanic students. Yeah, look, this is an example of the left continuing its corruption of language. Uh, it's Orwellian, literally, as Orwell said, that, uh, that, that thought corrupts language and language corrupts thought. Illegal alien is in our legal code illegal alien is in the dictionary it's absolutely the right term to use yet the left uses it because they want to change culture that's exactly what they are doing Ami horowitz always a pleasure to get your insights thanks for your time tonight pleasure is mine